Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 28 of Darwell20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Doing a little bit of mining, don't mind me. Shh, I'm running past all these bad dudes. I have relatively well lit up the area here. Uh, so I was downstairs mining. As you can see, I've got like my void sack and all this other stuff down here ready to go. I just went back to my base and dropped off all the stuff that I mined so that... Ooh, did I miss some nickel? Yeah, I did. It's so hard mining in this uh, in this biome. It's very easy to miss, to miss certain ores. Like nickel's really hard to see. Okay, cool. I should probably still have my thing on me. Anyway, and then I found this charred cobblestone from ice and fire. And I started hearing some weird noises. So I started digging, and I got scared, and ran away. Because I want to do this on camera. Uh, looks like I found a dungeon. Some kind of dragon dungeon. So if we peek up here, you'll see there's a pile of gold nearby. And a dragon. Oh boy, skeletons. Bad guys, hold on. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bad guys. 100% bad guys. Where's my laser? Probably should have this ready. Hello. <laughs> should have had this. Should have had this ready. Take that, bad dudes. Some books. Some of those tools. Okay. What do we got going on here, dragon? If I could light up the area, that might be cool, right? Oh boy. Hello. What's happening? Okay, everybody run away. Hold on, I have no idea what's happening. I think he grabbed me. I don't know what that's all about. I'm trying not to kill him with just like through the wall with a laser. That seems like super cheap. So I'm trying to trying to be a little bit legit with with the with the at least the first dragon kill. Subsequent dragon kills we might shoot lasers through walls. This one I'm gonna try not to cheese it too hard. Alright, I'll kill the other monsters in that room with the laser through the wall, but I'm gonna see what this dragon's all about. Alright, I got weakness on me still. Uh, a little low on health, a little low on armor, as you can see. As you can see. Oh yeah, he sounds he sounds angry. He does not sound like a happy dragon. Weakness is gone. Whoa! Breathe and fire. Woo! Ouch! Ouch! Probably should have brought some water with me. Oh, look at him up there! He's like hiding. Whoa, look at this. There's like stuff all over the place here. What is all this nonsense? Slightly hot was my achievement that I just got. Uh, I feel like maybe I should have this. And I'll like organize all this stuff later, right? But for now... Nice. Okay. That keeps things organized. I'm guessing a creeper decided to blow up. So let's like start off. Ah, fire. Fire bad. Lighting up the area a little bit. It looks like, whoa. So it looks like bad things happen. Alright, so first off I should probably have a ranged weapon. I'm trying not to use the laser, but my laser is my de facto ranged weapon, right? So, uh, we've got some arrows of freezing. Stop it, May. And we've got some arrows of pain. What doesn't kill you now will kill you. Amplifies incoming damage, okay. Well, that's cool. Instant damage, that sounds like a good time. Poison, freezing, we'll play with it a little bit. I think those are the only bows I have. I might have had another bow at some point, but I don't know what happened to it. Luckily, I think I got to a decently safe area before I died. So I, I notice he's breathing fire. I'm noticing that he's blowing things up, both of which are fun. Um, I, I at first thought it was a creeper that blew up the first thing, but now I'm thinking that might not be the case, right? It might not have been a creeper. It might have been whatever he does can, like, hurt a little bit right so we'll go get our corpse a little gravestone over there not too far away um pretty sure i died relatively near 
the top of my little stairwell, right? So I should be able to sneak my tombstone. Ta-da! See? Tombstone. What's up, bro? Tombstone it up. Okay. Sweet. All right. What's happening? I'm not seeing any kind of a health indicator on him. I should have brought normal arrows is what I should have brought. He just wants to like fly into the wall, which is cool and all. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Figure out what ice blocks do. That's neat. Should have brought normal arrows. Would have been smarter than uh, than not bringing normal arrows. Hey, I have a few normal arrows, thanks to thanks to some drops here. Oh, he noticed me. He noticed me. Where am I? What was that? Shenanigans. He noticed me. <laughs> That's awesome. He's just like, oh, you know what? I see you, Dyer. I'm just gonna pick you up and bring you over here. All right, let's see if I can find my corpse down there. I'll meet you guys down near the near the dragon. Now, the the best part of this tombstone mod is I'm a ghost, so I don't think he can see me right now. And run. And run. Woohoo! All right, we're cool. We're cool. All right, let me let me reorganize my inventory here. We're gonna try this again. Trying really hard not to just shoot random lasers at the bad dude because that would be fun. But it also feels a little bit cheesy. Oh, well, oh, hello. Speaking of cheesy. Whew. I, oh, 271 hearts left. Finally figured out how many hearts he has. Uh, the answer's a lot. The answer is quite a lot. We'll see what we can do, one or two more tries, and then we might have to take a break and figure out another way to kill him. Uh, short of lasers, obviously, because that sounds cheesy. Shooting lasers through the wall? That sounds wrong. All right, so it's pretty easy to sneak in there and drag and grab your corpse, so that's nice, at least. That's pretty nice. And this time I brought more arrows with me. All right. So can I snipe him through this floor? A little bit I can. He's like, hey. Luckily, he seems to have a decent-sized hit box. Oh, boy. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Fire bad. Gonna escape. Gonna escape. Gonna escape. Should have a bucket of... Should have a bucket of water on me. Should have a bucket of water on me. I think... I think we're getting better. I think we're getting better. Snag some water from up here. I think there's some nearby, right? Yeah. This'll do. Be right back. Oh, I can hear him. He sounds pretty angry. I do not think he is a pleased dragon at this point.
So the arrow of harming does instant damage, right? That looks pretty good. I wish I could get a, some kind of a good indication of how much health he has left. I don't think this tells me anything, right? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. In terms of health left? No. I don't know how much health he has left. He's breathing a lot of fire, though. He's really upset. Come on, Hunger, heal me. What I could use is some fire resist. Also, a lot of armor's broken now, so that's great. That's that's awesome. Fire resist would probably be a really smart thing to bring to, to a dragon fight, but, you know, the dire we're talking about. I think I just need to whittle them down a bit. Trying to instantly harm you, buddy. Alright, let's throw normal arrows at him for a minute. And nobody say this is cheesing it. I'm not using my laser. Look, if you were fighting a dragon, you'd be hiding in a hole shooting arrows till he dies too. Okay, this isn't cheesing it. How much health you got left, bro? Come on. This fight's insane. I mean, he had like 200 and something hearts left from what I saw when he picked me up last. I'm hiding around the corner, shooting him with arrows. I think I'm gonna do this for a minute, and we'll be back. And we're shooting him with arrows. I'm gonna run out of arrows in a minute, and then I'm gonna have to. Oh, see, I peek. And then I'm gonna have to shoot him with a laser. I'm not gonna have any other choice. Oh, he's unhappy. Where you at, bro? Did I get him? Anybody get the number of that bus? Specifically how much health that bus has left. Oh! What happened? Rip. Uh, 87 health remains, it looks like. Alright, cool. Stage 4. I don't know what that means, but it's interesting. <laughs> Alright, I uh, could use a few more arrows of some kind. That would be nice. And uh, we'll see what happens next. Uh, so you, sir, and what else do I have by way of arrows? I've got some more freezing, and I've got arrows of pain, which look like fun. I'm just going to bring all the arrows I got. Sound like a plan? Hope so. Meet you downstairs. All right. Reclaimed my corpse. Gonna eat a little bit. I apparently got a kaboomerang. Sweet. So, Arrow of Pain amplifies incoming damage, right? And then regular arrow. So what I should do is do this so that he has the pain effect on him? Or is it the other way around? Yeah. This way to have pain on him. And then swap it. I think we're gonna get him, guys. He is just chilling up there, letting me shoot him. Which is fine by me. I think I've got him on the ropes. Arrow of pain. Gonna whittle this dude down. He's gotta be getting low, right? I mean, 
mean, I can't imagine he's not getting low. Further, or, or future dragon fights will involve lasers and walls. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, Dyer got revenge on Fire Dragon. Woot! Check it out. We did the thing. Oh, hello, arrows. Thank you. I did want those back. Now, don't I want to do something with his corpse? Like, right-click it? Yeah, I do. Right-click with an empty hand? Yeah, what's up? I got a heart. I got some flesh. I'm gonna get some bones and a skull. Look at that. Sweet. Now, my only problem is there's a lot of treasure chests in here, and I have literally no inventory space. Well, that's not true. Actually, I do have some inventory space, don't I? Um, I have... I should have my shulker box, which I think I can upgrade, by the way. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's light this area. Wow, there's like a lot of good stuff in here, it looks like. There's a lot of treasure chests. All right, so my shulker box should be in here. All right, let's put all this away, except for this, because that's pretty much everything, right? And let's check out some loots. I'm just going to grab it all. I don't even know what it is. Manuscripts from Ice and Fire, huh? What are these? Because I saw a few of these drop earlier. Uh, they can make bestiaries. That's cool. Do I have an axe? I do. Do I have a different axe? I do. This way, what I'll do is I'll just break the treasure chests. Get the loots. Right? And then know which treasure chests are broken. And that seems super smart. Right? Keep this dude on me. Really? Nothing else can go in there? Actually, this should remain in my inventory. Because what I should be doing is validating that none of this stuff... That way, anything that could go in here would. Cool. Alright. How about I collect the last of these loots, and what are these piles of gold? I just get golden nuggets out of them. That's a little less exciting. I do like the jingly sound it makes when you step on them, though. Like, that's cool. All right, let's go home and sort through all our loots. I'm also gonna mine all these emeralds because emeralds, right? Like that's a good thing to have. Not bad, not a bad haul, not a bad haul. Back in a few. All right, I'd say that's pretty well cleared out, right? Waypoints, let's remove all these deaths. I did find another dragon at one point in the world that was like really far away from home when I was exploring. So uh, we might go take him down at some point, but now we can slash home. Whew! That was fun, actually. I did enjoy that fight. I'm gonna go through all the stuff I got, and I'll let you guys know if I got anything of particular note, right? Obviously lots of junk and things, right? Uh, lots of emeralds, which is cool. Totally excited about that. Um, I'm gonna put away any smeltables that I did collect, because like I said, I did go mining between episodes. Um, cool. Be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and say I didn't get anything too exciting. Nothing too exciting. I got some stuff. I got some good stuff, but nothing that was like, woo. So I just put it all away. That's what I did. Good times. So between episodes, other things I did involved uh, a drawer system. So I made a bunch of compact drawers, and then I remembered this mod pack changes the recipes for uh, metal blocks. So you can't just be like, yo, iron into iron block, right? Like, I can't do that. So a few things I can put in compacting drawers, but most of the metals I can't. So I put as many resources as I could in there. Um, we have a total of 14,000 items now stored inside disks, and the other stuff is stored in there. I still have uh, some exchanging of the floors and whatnot to do, right? So I should get my chisel out, and we should try and fancy up this place a little bit. And there's a few other things I was working on. Um, I was making some of this, because what I'd like to make is an energetic infuser. And I know you're probably saying, like, why, Dyer, do you want to make an energetic infuser? That seems like a silly thing to make, and I won't disagree with you on that fact. Um, so I need two of you, and I need one... 
Do I need two of those? Yeah. Let's get... I'm actually, like, quite low on iron. Let's just get a bunch of you in the induction smelter. You should be making more of that for me. Yeah, okay, keep going. Keep going, induction smelter. What else do I need while I'm waiting for you? A couple of you. A couple of you. Um, advanced circuit. Boom. So, if I wanted to make an energetic infuser, the only thing I'm missing is a redstone transmission coil. Not too shabby. We can make one of those pretty quick, actually, now that we, uh, now that we finished up all our electro team that I was working on. So you might be wondering, Dyer, why do you want an energetic infuser? You have a charger, dude. Like, why would you want an energetic infuser if you have a charger? Well, I want to try something. Something I don't usually need to do in packs, but, you know, we're in a situation where things are a little different, so it's, uh... It's a nice time to try something a little different. Now, this may or may not work out. May or may not work out. But we're making an energetic infuser, which I think was a quest anyway, wasn't it? Is there a quest somewhere to make an energetic infuser? I don't know. I don't know. Probably somewhere. But you know me. I've kind of paused questing for a little bit to work on other things. So what I would like to make is flux reconstruction. So it's going to need a couple blocks of iron. <laughs> that thing I don't have a lot of? Yeah. So if I did this and put you two away, I should be able to just toss you in there and boom, boom. Um, this may or may not be a good idea. We'll see, right? And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plates of electrum. So I'm just going to need a little bit of gold. Just get four of you and you. Induction smelter, go. Have some fun for a minute. You get to work with the three Electrum I do have, because I know I need a little bit more Electrum on top of that. See? Told you we would. Cool. Uh, and then I'd also like to look at a Redstone Servo. Oh, really? I don't have any red ingots. Oh, right. I made exactly as many as I could um, get away with. Um... 840, right? Yes, that should be cool. And then three of you. Five of you. And then I just need this. So do we have a microchip? A tier two microchip? We do, yay! Cool. Those things are a little annoying to make. Not terrible, but a little bit annoying. Um, but there's always carpenter recipes, which we really should look into making a carpenter soon, because we should be able to pull this off pretty quickly at this point. I think we're pretty close. Data storage unit? That all looks doable, right? I think a carpenter is absolutely available super soon. All right? Call me crazy, but I think that can be done pretty much almost any minute now. All right. So you cleaning up the rest of my plates. What else am I missing to make you? So I need a punch, a driver, and a spanner. A punch, a driver and a spanner. You guys are done. Bada bing, bada boom. And then what kind of fluid do I need? Liquid crystal in five buckets. I've got two buckets. Does that count? No. Ah, uh, so sapphires, please. Actually, what gems do I have a lot of? Do I have a lot of sapphires? I have a pretty healthy amount, but I have even more rubies. I have even more rubies. Let's do 32 of them. I'm trying to remember, but I think it's half a bucket per. Oh, wow, that, that's fast. That's really fast. Um, how much does this bucket store? Is this a wood one? Yeah, they're the junky ones. Do I have an extra tank? I have a stone hanging about. Let's do that. That'll do. Just get a bunch of this stuff. Why not? Right? Might as well. Pour it all out. And then we'll get the other two from you. Was it four buckets that we needed? It might have been four buckets. Was it five buckets we need? It might have been five buckets. It's still pouring, so I don't want to move the thing. There we go. Augment 
Flux reconstruction. Cool. Allows for damaged items to be repaired. Essence of knowledge must be supplied only one specialization at a time. So the, I think the only other thing we're going to need now is a hardened upgrade kit so that we can upgrade this dude. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight invar plates and a few bronze gears or copper gears, it looks like. Um, and eight red alloy ingots. Um, how are we for invar? We've got four. Make a little bit more. All right, not too shabby. That should be a lickety split. You. And then one more Envar goes in there and we should be cool. Right? Um, and then what else do I need? Is that it? Basic control circuit? That's actually this dude. And we need some more liquid crystalline. So that's cool. We're going to need a hammer and our Envar plates and then we're good. Not too shabby. Definitely appreciating... Um, what we can do here with our whole setup like this is awesome having refined storage is amazing cool and you're gonna go there and you're gonna go there what did we say it was two buckets yep sweet you're done means you can make this and we can see what it looks like. I'm hoping that it's ore dictionary in such a way that I can use this essence. Which, by the way, I've got more of in here. Haha. <laughs> nice, right? How cool is that? How cool is that? Um, once again, still need to get my base in order a little bit. Do you not have power? You, sir, do not have power. Okay, cool. Today I learned. No power over there. We'll just pop this bad boy right here. We'll give it an Invar upgrade, and then we'll throw the repair thing in there. And now you need essence of this stuff, right? So I'm hoping I can do something like put you in there and your ore dictionary. You don't seem to want to do it. Hmm. <laughs> well, what we could make is a Tome of Experience, right? Tome of Knowledge. Mage's Workshop. Need some ancient dust, compressed diamonds, emeralds, and books. That doesn't seem too bad. And white magic essence? White magic essence. Do you smelt into a bucket's worth? You do. Cool. All right, give me some books. I think we have some of that ancient stuff. We have, we have two. Okay, cool. And a tome of knowledge might not be bad as we start getting into stuff anyway, right? Two compressed diamonds and two emeralds. I think it was four of these. Uh, compressed diamonds is in the enrichment chamber, right? Uh, Tome of Knowledge. Why didn't I add you to the side there? Dire Wolf. Dire Wolf, please! Yeah, in Richmond Chamber, I was right. Cool. All right, what else do I need then? I think that's about it. Four, four, two, two. Easy peasy, right? And we might as well get our two white magic essence. So you guys get to work. You're done. Toma knowledge. Cool. Because I think this will eat up my experience, right? And I might be able to do something with you. Can't I do something with you? Yeah, I can. Nice. Thought so. So now can I throw you in there? And F3H should turn on advanced tooltips. And look, it's repairing. Sweet. I didn't want to lose that platinum chest plate. That platinum chest plate's pretty awesome. And being able to repair it, even more awesome. I'll take that, right? How cool is that? So now if I get any like really good armor that I like. Is iron helmet better than chain helmet? They're about the same. I think platinum's still like really good though. We have a little bit of platinum. Lapis lazuli with protection too. And that's armor five. 
compared to iron six, but that has protection two. Ain't that better? Well, no, we have the uh, chest plate, right? Yeah, no. So helm, meh. Leggings, meh. And then boots. I mean, we have mana steel boots, which are cool because they self repair, but it's all good. Hey, we've got a way to repair our, di our platinum chest plate, which is awesome. I'll take it. Are there any good quest rewards for armor? I feel like there might have been that we just never got around to collecting. Back in a few, I'm going to poke around at some of these rewards and just see if there's anything that stands out. Making a bunch of platinum gets me platinum boots with Frostwalker on it. Not sure I want that, but we'll see. How much platinum do I need? 64 platinum in my inventory at once? I don't know if we have that much platinum. No, we have 30. We have 30. And we can smelt down a little bit more, but still not a lot. All right. Um, put all you stuff away. And we'll be back in a minute. I guess I'm hurting my uh, RF production a little bit with all this enchanted chest plate repairing that I got going on. But it's all good. We're cool. All right, I'm going to store as much experience as I can in this Tome of Knowledge, which we can, by the way, enchant. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can enchant it with holding, uh, unless that was changed in this pack at all. Oh, are we out of uh, this stuff? Yeah, we should probably look in the next episode or two into automating the canola oil thing. That's probably going to be an important task for us at some point. How are we doing? Slowly but surely doing stuff. I'm also making some bronze because I can. Um, we've got our fermenting barrel. And we've got our canola press. Yeah, I should really look at doing that. Probably next episode. Um, did not yet, but plan to basically right now. Um, I'm going to actually go guys away. Cool. Thanks. And I'm going to put this tome away. I'm sure at some point in the future I'm going to be like, I need more experience. I wish I had some sword and not remember that I did that, but it's okay. Uh, what I think I'm going to do now is clean up my basement and make it look a little bit nicer. So here's the plan, at least. All right? Do I have a building gadget, too? Because I'll probably want one of those. Building gadget, please. It's about time we got into the gadgetry of things, right? You can charge that up. Probably. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. Hey, look, you're done. Hooray. Fully repaired platinum chest plate. See? See? I knew that was a good I knew that was a good investment. Oh, look, quest complete. Ah, look at that. See? I'm going to grab this uh, enchanted book of protection, too. Um, here's a question. Good. The arcane and sorcerator is a thing we can make. Now that I think, of, I remember looking at this and deciding it needed enchantment tables, right? A little bit of Constantin. None of this is terrible. Enchanted plates come from enchanted ingots, which we can smelt from enchanted metal. Is there any like alloying recipe of this? There is. Gold and refined glowstone. Aha. Aha. Gold and refined glowstone is enchanted metal, you say. Okay. That's a different enchanted metal than I'm used to. Um, and refined glowstone is usually a mechanism process, but that's not the case now. It's osmium and energetic blend and an electric compressor. Or... Or a rolling machine from Tech Reborn. It doesn't look too bad. Man of Steel or osmium. Either one. With an energetic blend. Okay, cool. That's not bad. Tech Reborn rolling machine, also not bad. Needs a 60k coolant cell, but should be doable. Should be doable. A few other things. Should maybe be doable. We'll see. All right, we got to wrap up the episode, though. Uh, surprisingly, we have reached that point. Um, but, you know, fighting a dragon, I guess we'll do that. So let's do this real quick before we wrap up. I'm going to snag a bunch of stone, and I'm going to chisel it into some of the patterns that I want. Now I usually like, where's the one I like for floors? I don't think it's circular, right? Is it, it's Celtic, right? Celtic or Celtic. That's the one I usually like for floors, right? So what I'm gonna do is that, and then we'll zip, boop up the range. And that should be cool, right? All right. So we'll wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. I think I'm going to put you on fuzzy mode so that you can do all kinds of things. Yeah, that's going to be a lot better. 
Cool. All right, wrapping up the episode. Coming back next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll uh, see you in a bit. For now, take it easy.